The MacBook Pro family really is a, a quite remarkable engineering achievement. It's truly the result of years of, of hard work, of innovation, I think driven by this obsessive attention to, to every detail. And this is particularly evident in the enclosure. And traditionally, notebooks are made from multiple parts. But the problem is when you have multiple parts, you, you add size and weight, and, and you increase the opportunity for failure. And the, the, the huge breakthrough that we had was to replace all of those parts with just one part. And that one part we called the unibody. We figured out a way of being able to make, make, make the notebook fundamentally thinner, lighter, more robust, and with, with sort of a degree of, of fit and finish that we've, we've never even dreamed of before. And the only way to make that one part was to machine it from a single piece of aluminium. Aluminum was the ideal choice for this product because it provides us thinness and lightness that we want in the portable category. Great strength to weight ratio also provides us a, some really nice options from a finishing perspective. The beginning of the unibody starts with a solid block of aluminum. Then we go through an extrusion process, which is kind of like how you make like pasta. And the output of that goes through nine separate milling operations. We take a part from solid block down to the finished, finely detailed part that has all of the features that we need to go off and assemble the new MacBook Pro. If you have the expertise to do that machining correctly, you can achieve an assembly method that is simple enough that we can get it right every single time. Machining en enables a level of precision that, that is just completely unheard of in this industry. We have been so fanatical in the tolerances of how we machine and build these products. In many ways, I think it's more beautiful internally than it is externally. I mean, I think that testifies to just our, our care. I mean, just how much we care 